Hi fellow detoxers, so here we are in week two and I'm going to show you how to make a couple of things very quickly because if you make things ahead of time, the hardest part of all this is being in preparation for yourself. So take one day of the week and just get all your stuff together. Um, one of the things though I'm going to make, which I travel with it all the time too, is I'm going to make myself a real quick cereal. We will be adding this flax meal. Now we're doing the flax oil the first week, we're going to continue and we're adding flax meal uh, the second week and this is another one of our quick meals. So we're going to take approximately two tablespoons of the flax meal, you could actually do more if you want it. Uh, we're going to take some coconut water and pour on top, and I'm just doing that because I'm fortunate enough to always have coconut water around me. But what's, you know, but you could use, if you weren't detoxing, you could use uh, hemp nut milk, or you might have to buy the other coconut water that comes prepared, where we have the uh, straight corn coconut water here at Karen's. So now I put this in, and I'm going to let it sit for a moment and it's going to become like a cereal, so we're going to come back to that. In the meantime, we're going to make our algae drink that we're going to be drinking in week two. We start even more chlorophyll. Remember, we're getting in, this is boot camp, so we're putting in lots of chlorophyll. You will not be doing all of this at the end of detox, but this is while we are cleansing, we are going to be doing lots of forms of chlorophyll. They have slightly different cellular structures. We're going to take a half a cup of spirulina, and you know, if you don't want to go through all of this, you can buy the uh, already prepared uh, E3 Alive which is a frozen algae or you can make your own at home a lot more economically but you may not feel like it or have the time I'm going to show you how to make it quickly and I actually prefer the taste so I'm going to take my half a cup of spirulina I'm going to take approximately about 18 ounces of water I'm going to blend it up very quickly I'm making my algae to drink throughout the week and it's done. Now, what I like to do is have a container to put it in. I've made this for the week because you're only going to be doing one, two, three ounces a day. We made it all up ahead of time. You can put it in your container. And it's just like you have your E3 Alive. I call this Karen's Alive even though God made the spirulina. Um, you have your algae all ready for you, and you can just measure out one or two ounces a day. It really tastes very good. And you could really make several jars of it at a time and freeze them and just defrost them as you need it. So now we have our algae all made for the week. Let's see what's happening with our cereal. This is our algae, the spirulina. By the way, you can also take the spirulina and sprinkle it on salads, add it to dressings. It is delicious. All right. Now, our cereal has definitely thickened up. See there? It kind of looks like kashi or oatmeal or something. We could add fresh berries to it, or we could add fresh banana to it. And we have a delicious cereal. Oh my, spirulina and cereal. No, just joking. But we drink the spirulina one to two to three ounces throughout the day. You'll eat this cereal mixture at any point that you want. And that's just like having cream of wheat with bananas. Mmm. Is that delicious? I'll see you. Big three.